for which phase of n does the complete graph case of n contain an Euler path? What about an Euler circuit? Explain. Recall that an Euler path is a walk through a graph which uses every edge exactly once. A graph has an Euler path if and only if there are at most two vertices with odd degree. An Euler circuit is a walk through a graph which starts and ends at the same vertex and uses every edge exactly once. A graph has an Euler circuit if and only if the degree of every vertex is even. Notice above we have the graphs of k sub one through k sub six. For this problem we will assume that n is greater than or equal to one and for every complete graph k sub n, each vertex has degree n minus one. So for example, the degree of the vertex in the graph of k sub one is zero because zero edges emanate from the vertex. The vertices in the graph of k sub two have degree one because one edge emanates from each vertex. Each vertex of the graph of k sub three has degree two because two edges emanate from each vertex. Each vertex in the graph of k sub four has degree three because three edges emanate from each vertex and so on. And now to determine which values of n, k sub n, has an Euler path. Since a graph has an Euler path, if and only if there are at most two vertices with an odd degree, k sub n has an Euler path when n is odd and n is greater than one. Since all degrees will be even, notice we exclude k sub one since k sub one has no edges. k sub n will also have an Euler path when n equals two since k sub two has two vertices with odd degree. Notice how this does meet the condition that at most two vertices have an odd degree. For all other even values of n, there is no Euler path. And now let's consider the values of n for which k sub n has an Euler circuit. Since a graph has an Euler circuit, if and only if every vertex has an even degree, k sub n has an Euler circuit when n is odd and n is greater than one. When n is odd and n is greater than one, every vertex will have an even degree and therefore the graph will have an Euler circuit. And again, notice here we're excluding k sub one since k sub one has no edges. I hope you found this helpful.